50 cents into 80 bucks. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Let's talk about plush, or another word for plush is stuffed animals. Oh my goodness, some of these go for big money. Money plush, I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for, and I think some of these are gonna shock you. You may just have this sitting around your house. All right, so I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group that looks like this. If you're not in it, you can join it down below. I have a link tree down there. Just click on that link and it'll show my Facebook groups and you can come follow. And what I posted was share your best plush bolo. And if you guys come over to the Facebook group and you have a bolo to share, definitely comment on that post and I will feature it in a video just like this. The first one here got at the Goodwill bins for 50 cents and sold it for $80. 50 cents into 80 bucks. Jelly Cat Amusable Avocado Green Blanket Soother Comforter Lovey. Yes, loveys are awesome. I pick up every lovey I see pretty much. They range from bread and butter to big money. A lot of times what a lovey is, it's a stuffed animal that's attached to a small blanket. That's what I call lovey. Some people call like baby stuffed animals loveys also. So it's kind of up to you. Hi, Courtney. I got this plush Blue, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, blue, B-L-O-O, -O, for free on Facebook Marketplace, listed on eBay for $74.99 and happily took an offer of $60. It is a Kelly Toy Plush Blue from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, 18-inch Cartoon Network. Have you ever seen that one? I haven't, but he's blue. He's easy to remember. Somebody said, I sold one of these a few months back. He had been listed for over a year and finally sold to someone in Puerto Rico for $95. He still had his tags and I got him for a dollar at a dog rescue thrift store. All the Foster stuff sells really well. There you go. Raymond Briggs Snowman Plush. I saw this featured before in this group. So when I saw it at the bins, I quickly grabbed it, paid less than a dollar and it sold in just a few days for, sorry, it's really small. Um, it's either 45 or 65. I'll pop it up. You should be able to see it when I zoom in. <laughs> so sorry about that. And I believe it's, um, Raymond Biggs Snowman Plush. Husband found this for free in his mom's attic. She had no idea where it came from. Cost was nothing. We split the proceeds. Had damage and missing pieces of the costume. Sent out automatic offers for $375 and sold it within 48 hours. It is a vintage Rushton Artist Bunny Rabbit Easter Rubber Face. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, them Rushton. Woo! Big money. Goodwill for $2.99. Sold for $60. Sent the offer out, but buyer liked item at $100. I wanted him out of the house. LOL. Previous comps were at $100+. plus. So... Sent the offer out, but buyer liked item at 100. Huh. I don't know what that means. Gunned Snuffles Panda Plush. $60 free shipping. Oh, I see what they're saying. So she had it listed for 100 and the buyer gave it a like, like a heart on Mercari. And she sent the offer for 60 because she just wanted to move it quick. And... Yeah, she probably sold it. I mean, if comps were at 100, I probably would have held out. But I'm a very patient reseller. So uh, Mercari is a great place to sell plush. I've told you guys that before. Definitely check out Mercari if you're not already. There's a link down below. You can get $10 to shop when you join with it and another uh, $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So you take that 30 bucks, you spend it on Mercari, and you buy something to resell, and then you tell me about it. And Hopefully it's a bolo that I can feature in this video. Bought at a local charity thrift store for 50 cents. Sold for full asking price in less than a month. It's a vintage 1985 Pretty Bit Popples plush pink and purple 8-inch stuffed animal. So this is one of the small ones. Sold it for $42.99 plus shipping. Part of lot bought from yard sale. 50 for $30. One of the items I sold. So 50 items for $30. That's one thing that's great about plush. A lot of times you can pick it up cheap. 
Vintage Care Bears Wish Bear Star Backpack Bear. $43 on Mercari. Again, plush on Mercari. Mercari is a great platform for plush. Found this strange pig at a thrift store. I had no idea who it was. After looking it up, I saw the value and started looking for others. Found a second one buried in a pile. Total paid for both was $5. Sold in a month for full asking price. Look for the weird stuff and pay attention to video gamer, YouTube influencer items. It is a Techno Blade U2's one foot or sit plush one foot king pig duo bundle. I don't know. That's the, that's what it looks like. $115 buyer paid shipping. Found at a yard sale in a pile with a bunch of other plush. Paid a whopping dollar for it. Sold on Mercari for full asking price within two weeks. Webkin Signature Australian Shepherd Dog Plush Stuffed Animal Toy. No code by Gans. $166 on, say it for me, Mercari. I'm telling you guys. Mercari, Mercari, Mercari. Uh, yes, it says keep an eye out for Signature Timberwolf German Shepherd as well and the Chocolate Milk Cow. Cow Signature Cows. And uh, I do have a video that talks about Webkins. Some of them go for big bucks. So check that out. A lot of them are bread and butter as well. Bought at the Salvation Army for $5.99. Got full asking price on eBay of $98 plus shipping. Bolo Buddies member, eBay store, nerds a poppin' on eBay and Mercari. And YouTube name is Perfectly Cromulent, I think is how you say it. And this is what it looks like. It is a Folk Monist Pluto hand puppet Disney character Mickey Mouse dogs. And this is the dog. And I recently just did a video on puppets. And Folk Monist is one of the puppets that I talked about. Definitely be on the lookout. This one here is a vintage. Um, yes, okay. A vintage 2001 Universal Play by Play large 21 inch Spyro the Dragon plush figure. Uh, picked up for 99 cents at the Salvation Army and sold it on Mercari for $71. You guys are seeing the trend here, right? Found at the Goodwill bins and sold on Mercari for $40. It's a 2012 One Direction Star Teddy Bear in hoodie. Harry Styles collectible. Bolo. I saw this bolo on this page a month or so back. It was a bolo without the tag. I found mine at the Goodwill, brand new with tags, sold in three days for full price. It is a Carter's plush golden retriever puppy dog sitting on sitting up lovey, new with tags, sold it for 42 and it looks like the buyer, I think paid shipping. I bought this from a Build-A-Bear group years ago for maybe $10, I think. It is a Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty Pink and Leopard with Bow. Sold it for $65 plus shipping on Mercari. All right. Some power, power cords. Wrong video. I'm still going to show it to you because it's pretty cool. But this is a video about plush. It got put under the wrong video. Um, I do have a share your best July bolo and this probably should have been under that, but let's check it out. I mean, why not? And if you guys want to see more items that sold in July that are not plush, definitely check out those videos. Some power cords can be extremely valuable. I received that knowledge from one of these fine resellers on this page and decided to look up the Tempur-Pedic Delta adjustable bed power supply, a hundred plus. The bed frame with all the hydraulics, wires, computer, and power cords I got for 40. Oh, there were two beds. Here is what just one power cord sold for already. I've um I've made almost 500 profit so far. Here it is, $109. Okay, here's another plush. Found this tiny jelly cat amusable in the leftovers at the bins. He weighed like two ounces, so I paid 15 cents. Sold for full asking price in a few weeks of $78.76 plus shipping. I'm telling you, Jelly Cat just makes me smile. And if you want to know about more Big Money Jelly Cat, type in Bolo Buddies Jelly Cat. I have a video on it. Jelly Cat Amusable 
pistachio macaroon green cookie plush stuffed toy. It's so cute. It's five inches. Somebody said, keep an eye out for the Jelly Cat Baguette. That sucker has been selling in my collector group for 100 plus. <laughs> okay. Paid a dollar at a yard sale. Took a best offer of $40. This is a small six-inch plush. Great return on investment. The Elder Scrolls new with tags, Skuma Plush Loot Crate Gaming 2022 Rare Skyrim Bethesda. It is a cat, and apparently this is some sort of gamer cat. Sold for $49.48 plus shipping. So one thing that I will tell you guys, if you have enough room in your title to include both the word plush and stuffed animal, I would recommend using both. I feel like resellers use the term plush. Like, that's just what it is. But I feel like people that are not resellers use the word stuffed animal and may not even know the term plush. So definitely consider that. If you're a new reseller, that may be a new tip for you. If you're not, you may already know that. Um, another thing people ask me is how do you ship your plush? I ship mo most of my plush in a bubble poly mailer. If they have plastic eyes, I cover the eyes with additional bubble wrap just to protect it. If it's like one of those stiff, hard plush that could get damaged during shipment, really old, something special, high dollar, I put it in a box or really big. I box those as well. So let me know how you ship your plush down in the comments. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you at the next one.